I've taken a photo with my hand holding a board and turned it into an editable Photoshop mockup file for you to make it into your own. So let me show you how to use it. And by the way, you can download this Photoshop file for free. I'll keep a link in the description below and you can also see a bunch of other resources that I have there. So this is what the original photo looks like. And I've added two extra layers. One of them is the hand that I've extracted separately than the white background. So you can actually move it around to another file and use it for something else. And the second layer is the baseboard itself. All I did was take a texture photo of a piece of wood and I've cropped it into that same shape that you see right now. You can do this with any material, especially if you want to make it match to your actual model that you want to balance on top of the board. The model I'm using here is a 3D model from one of my architectural and interior design projects called House for Two. I've used Blender to render this one using a very similar wood texture for the exterior of the model. You just need to make sure that when you're rendering your 3D model that it's in a similar perspective to the photo as the one I'm showing you, just so it could look realistic when you put it on top of the board. I know sometimes it could be very hard to render your 3D model with an absolutely white background, so all I do is use the lasso tool to extract the model from its white background. Now to make it look a little bit more realistic, you can add shadows. So one of the shadows that I've added is the one between the board and the model itself. I use the rectangle tool to select the rectangle along the 3D model and the gradient from black to white and I put the blend mode on multiply and reduce the opacity a little bit just to get that effect that I want. So you can notice that the board and the hand have their own realistic shadow already. That's because I took the photo against the white background and made sure that those remain there. Now we need a realistic shadow for the model itself, so what I've done is created another realistic shadow that matches the one underneath it. All you need to do is to transform it into how narrow or wide your model is and place it right underneath. I've used my same mockup for another one of my projects called Monstera Studio and it's the same exact concept where I just rendered it in a similar perspective and I used the lasso tool to get rid of the background and just placed it right on top. Make sure to tag me with what you're able to create. It'll make me really happy to see this mock-up applied on different kinds of projects. 